Welcome back again for another episode of The Role I Almost Got. Today we are speaking with actress Laura Banks, who came into many people's radars um, back in 1982 for Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. She played Khan's navigator. She would later go on to star in some Roger Corman productions such as Wheels of Fire and Demon of Paradise. Now when we gave Laura the setup for the role I almost got, I want you to watch here. You can see a light bulb going off in her head as she comes up with her answer that she later gives. This is a great one, so please stick around. It's called The Role I Almost Got. So there's a, Disney, there's a Disney Plus series called What If? And um, in that they discuss, you know, the Marvel Universe and what if scenarios, like what if Captain America had done this instead of this? And here's how the world would have turned out. So we like to play that with actors and find out if there's a role that they read for or got close to getting um, that they would like to tell us about and then we can go on and speculate some more. Well, I do have my favorite story in that category. I went in to read her role with Billy Hopkins, who's a pretty big casting director. I was so excited to meet Billy. And I go into this tiny room and Billy's tiny and the whole experience feels a little tiny. And then ironically, you know, I come and I shake his hand and he goes, oh gosh, just sit down, I'll talk to you, but you're not gonna get cast on this. I'm like, oh, he goes, so tell me about yourself, blah, blah, blah. So he did the have twos around being a casting director with all the effort I took to get to him. And then he goes, well, here's the deal. This is a movie where you would have to fit into the jacket that Rosanna Arquette wears. Can either of you guess the movie? It's a great Rosanna story. Arquette. The role I wanna... that I read for, the role that I didn't read for because I was too tall, the role that I was being considered for at the time went to a superstar, a musical rock legend. Madonna? Yes. Um, uh, desperately Seeking Susan. Desperately Seeking Susan. Uh -huh. Cult classic yeah. in its own right. Classic. Yep. <sighs> I was this close to getting the part. That's about how much taller I am than Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> 1985. Huh? 1985. Yeah. I, I, I just can't believe the role went to somebody named Madonna. You know, like, who is this chick? But who I, is she? Please, Who's that girl? She was just coming up the ladder, right? And she and she fit the ja the damn jacket. Now, what would have happened if Laura Banks had fit into that jacket? Sigourney Weaver would have had been ca had to have been cast as a Rosanna Arquette character because she and Let's I see. are the same. Well, she's six. This is the probably. speculation shit that we we're talking about. Daryl <laughs> Hannah, Daryl Hannah, Sean Young, my co-conspirators. Uh, Clan of the Cave Bear. I I was I was considered for a meeting on that Clan of the Cave Bear. Yep. Which was Daryl, right? Um, I was supposed to be Daryl Hannah's. I was close to meet another girl for being Daryl Hannah's stand in in Splash. Oh, wow. Uh, I worked as an extra and got a, a scene right next to Billy Crystal and um, Meg Ryan in When Harry Met Sally. I was in Radio Days, had a chance to talk to Woody Allen on the set of Radio Days because he and I had a friend in common, Michael Davis, who was a famous magician and juggler. And I said, hi, Woody, you know, I have a friend in common. His name is Michael Davis. You wanted to cast him in Purple Rose. You sent him a letter. He goes, oh my God, I love, love Michael Davis. He's so good, but the studios demanded that I go with Jeff Daniels. And, and uh, I was like, wow, I'm talking to Woody Allen. I, I, like, I just come to him, like, am I even listening? No, you know, and then Mia walks in and, and, and I'm like, she, and he backs away like, oh, Mia's gonna catch me talking to this girl, but I was too old for, for Woody, really. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She'd be like, I know you're going to make plenty of other movies. Just here's my card. Just please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, but my claim to fame was desperately seeking, almost desperately seeking Susan. That's yeah. awesome. Incredible. That movie played uh, almost weekly in, um, they would replay it on the comedy, on Comedy Central in the 90s. I remember like, that. And they do the almost video week. probably. I'm like, you could have been getting royalty checks every, one, every time they did that. <laughs> I was on VH1 with Candace Bushnell for Sex in the City. Uh, we were doing my book, Breaking the Rules, was a sold a quarter of a million copies on women and dating, and breaking the rules. I was sort of like these things have happened to me. I got to write the book, Dames and and Dames and Dane. I got to write the book because everywhere I went, I run into these celebrities and these weird things would happen to me. So I'm in the green room at VH1. We're doing a pop up video kind of thing on breaking the rules, and 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 Candace Bush Bushnell. Uh, was there and she'd written Sex in the City and we were talking about the book and then when I was with her in the green room her phone rang and she got the deal with HBO for Sex in the City and she hangs up the phone wow. just she goes I just got Sex in the City with HBO 
I'm wow. like, wow. <laughs> she was like, I guess gay, because she had a woman with her on set, and they were getting drunk, and we couldn't get the takes right because Candace was drunk. And Wow. <laughs> stories. There are stories. There are deep, dark, tragic, jaded stories that uh, I won't go into beyond that. Okay, that was a lot of fun, and thank you again, Laura Banks, for playing along with the role I almost got. Um, and as we said in the graphic, do not cry for her, Argentina. She has gone on to become a successful author. She's a comedian. She's an astrologer. Check her out on stargalnetwork.com and zodiacmagicpodcast.com for more of Laura Banks. Plus, you'll be seeing her in future CF3 content to come.